it's as average as a pair of blue jeans, but the Tipo is precisely what Fiat needed to add to its European lineup. It comes in three body styles, including hatch wagon and sedan, but a hot version with some about zing is reportedly on the way. We don't want to get your hopes up especially since Fiat was supposed to produce an Albauth version of the 500X crossover. It even made the test prototypes, but never proved the thing for mass production. Still, the Albauth Tipo makes all the sense in the world, since right after the Scorpion Tune 500 came out, they also offered a Grand Punto Albauth with 155 horsepower from the same 1.4T jet. In fact, the Tipo rendering put together by the Germans kind of reminds us of that car. It has the same combination of white paint, black plastic skirts, red stickers, and gametal alloy wheels. The Grand Punto Abath wasn't popular, not because they didn't have a standalone brand, but due to other cars offering better performance for the money. We're looking at you, Clio or S. The market has changed a bit since then. Turbo engines are the norm, but small pocket rockets have become more expensive as well. We think a no-name car like the Tipo needs to start at the bottom end, competing with the cheap Suzuki Swift Sport. And yes, we do know the classic Tipo came in 2.0 sport form, known as the Seta Vol. But almost nobody remembers it. So what's it going to be Fiat, a cheap abath or one with all the bells and whistles?